Afternoon guys, Locks and Low here. Well, it's been a while since I did an update video on my battle belt. Uh, I had a fan ask me, so today guys, I'm doing it. So we're just gonna get right into it, keep it nice, short, and simple. The belt I'm using for to hold up all my gear is the Blackbeard's Peacekeeper belt. It uses the ratchet system, which I'm a huge fan of. I just did a video on this Blackbeard's belt. So please check over there and check it out when you're done watching this video. Anyway, it's a ratchet system belt, clicks in. I can use this little lever to tighten the belt down or I can loosen it if I need to. But it's my battle belt, so I like to keep it kind of tight so everything is nice and conformed to my body and not wiggling around too much. Next is the actual battle belt. It is uh, from Condor, I got it on eBay a while ago. If you check out my last battle belt video, it's the same actual battle belt. I just kind of switched some things up and added some things. But yeah, it's the Condor belt. It has molly webbing on here. So if you get some uh, pouches or whatever, make sure it has the uh, loops on there so you can molly web it to your belt. Uh, works fine. It's pretty budget friendly. And it works. There are better belts out there, you know, but this one works for what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything too hardcore. This is really just a range and class belt. Now moving over to this side, I have two magazines. Big fan of Daniel Defense magazines. I got them there in my pouch. This pouch does not have the retention loop on it. This is supposed to be a speed reload where I come up, boom, insert. I don't have that retention there, but the second one does have a retention just in case I fell and that magazine fell out, I still have another magazine retained on my belt. I keep two on my belt. And down here I have two pistol mags for my Glock. Keep them down here in these loops. I do have these actively retained. And it works fine for me in my setup. Coming around here, I have a D-ring. Uh, you just never know when you may need a D-ring. Yours, just something to clamp down like your rifle. If you want to transition over and you want to use this D ring to clip your rifle down so it doesn't come wiggling around when you're working or you're moving or you're not actively using your rifle at the time, you can sling it, use this D ring to clamp it down to your side so it's secure and it won't move around. Again, on this side, I have the LightSam PS11 flashlight uh, gets up to 1380 lumens I don't really ever have it that high I kind of have it in the middle I think like at 500 lumens and great light multifunctional that's 1380 that's real low medium setting and then if you hold it down you got the strobe light And then it's got this nice little bezel on the front in case you gotta use it for self-defense. But that's the LightSam PS11 flashlight. I did a video review on that, so again, check it out. On the back, I got me a dump pouch. You know, just for storing whatever. Honestly, when I'm using it, I don't really put too many magazines in here. This is like the pouch for all my junk. My cell phone, any kind of card somebody gives me, patches. Uh, if I'm carrying a Gatorade bottle, 
that's what this pouch is usually used for. The dump pouch is just for, I don't want to carry it. <laughs> all right, all right, keep going. Well, I'll switch over this side. So on this side, I have my Glock 19 with Enforce APLC light, 200 lumens. I got the Trijicon HD night sights. I don't know if you can see, but I do. The XR sights for the extended range with the thinner front sight. I got it on the Safari Land uh, mid ride. So this is the Safari Land 7TS holster with active retaining lock, the ALS system. So you can't just pull the gun out. You have to detach this nub and pull out. And I like this and it's it really started to grow on me and I love it. And what this mid ride allows me to do, it has the QLS forks. So I don't have to actually buy a new holster. Let's say this holster has a light. If I want a holster that does not have a light, I don't necessarily have to buy a complete whole setup. All I really need is just the holster because I can just detach and just take the whole thing off. So I have my, this side of the QLS forks, take this off, put it in the whole holster. And now let's say I have my Glock with a light and now I have a holster with a light. It fits in the holster and I can take this holster and just, just like that. And it's good to go. Great holster, I love it, mid-ride, all the way thumbs up. On the back, this is my medical kit, my IFAC, if you wanna say. It's a little thick, but it's on my battle belt, and it doesn't really take up that much space, especially back here, and I feel like it's better suited back here where I can reach with my right hand, reach with my left hand. So how I reach my IFAC is that with either hand, I can reach back, take this buckle off, rip it off. And now I have my IFAC that I can reach with either hand and utilize if need be. Now maybe I'll do a separate video on exactly what I keep in here, but this is what I keep. As you can see, nothing's falling out Everything's in a certain spot. It's not just all thrown in here. That's my IFAC. And then when I'm ready and I'm done with it, just take it, put it back there in the Velcro pad. Loop it up, tighten it down. And we're good to go. And that is how I use my IFAC. Well guys, I mean, this is my battle belt. There's nothing really too special about it. There's no fancy sounding names, no big name companies. It's just a battle belt that works. And it works for me, especially. So I want you guys, if you don't have one, you know, maybe look into one. It's really nice to take to the range where you don't have to have a vest or a ch uh, chest carrier, a uh, chest rig if you want to. I prefer battle belts. It keeps everything where I need right here on my waist and not anything on my shoulders where it's just bearing down weight. It's all here on my hips and it's more comfortable for me. Anyway, guys, this is my battle belt. I wish I could post the links down in the description to you know, help you guys out, but YouTube don't like that. So again, Blackbeard's Peacekeeper Belt. Go to the website. Got the Condor Molly Battle Belt. Uh, got it from eBay, so you can get them cheap. Daniel Defense Magazines. All the way support. Uh, the pouch I got, you can get anywhere, guys. It's really, I don't, I don't even know the name. It's just a pouch that holds two AR-15 mags and two pistol mags. And it works. You know, Glock mags. Always got to make sure you keep backup ammo for your primary and secondary weapon you know d-ring do you absolutely need no i just prefer it flashlight i say you do need it's always good to have some kind of light we're at night where you can identify who you're addressing dump pouch uh yes i am a fan of dump pouches 
and I would say just have it. It doesn't really take up much space and you know, it's there if you need it. Medical kit, you need a medical kit. No arguments. Get a medical kit, get some training, know what you're doing. Uh, Safariland 7TS holster, go to their website, Safariland. Really great company, they have a lot of good stuff. Uh, I got the UBL mid-ride and I got that from Amazon, so you go there. Got the thigh strap again, you know, I got it from OP Holsters. Uh, I'll put the word down. <laughs> and that's about it, guys. Nothing too special, just a fancy, just a nice rip away medical kit so I can uh, sex it with either hand. That's all I have in my battle belt. I don't have anything I don't need or any just cool stuff. This is what I use and this is what I like. Uh, if you have a battle belt, put down in the comment section what you have in your battle belt or what you think I may need to add to my battle belt. But anyway guys, thanks for joining the video. Please be safe. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so when I drop a video, I usually do a video every week, at least once a week. So when you hit that bell, you'll know. Anyway guys, please be safe and locks and load out. Thank you.